Now new details on an embattled night spot on Atwells Avenue in Providence. A liquor license hearing on the $3 bar went before the Rhode Island Department of Business Regulation today, but this time there was new evidence. Video footage reportedly showing what happened before a man died beaten with a 2 by 4 Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner is digging up more details tonight live from the newsroom. The video shown at today's hearing said to depict an unfortunate chain of events that ultimately led to death for one of the men involved. Video surveillance footage set to show a deadly July fight front and center at a Department of Business regulation hearing Friday, all part of an ongoing appeal of the forced closure of Providence's $3 bar on Federal Hill. That video watched by the hearing officer and others at the table on a laptop, but shielded from the public's view. Last month, the city's board of licenses stripped the $3 bar of all of its permits necessary to operate in light of the city's top law enforcement officials' contention that bar employees did not do enough to break up the fight. At the hearing, a police detective went frame by frame through the footage. He said it shows a verbal argument inside the bar and then a physical fight in a rear parking lot. Police say 34-year-old Jonathan Stack of Gloucester died after being beaten with a 2 by 4 48-year-old Daniel Lestarsa of Providence is charged with his murder. Detective Jonathan Primiano narrated. But that is, in fact, where he retrieves the 2 by 4 from. Counsel for bar owner John Franco Morocco says he believes his client's appeal will prevail. When I think that the city's case is absolutely terrible. Um, I think clearly it's a witch hunt with my client, um, and I think it's going to backfire on the city. Eyewitness News has requested a copy of the video that was shown under the Access to Public Records Act. And Eyewitness News did end up hearing back from the DBR. It has denied our request, citing a, quote, unwarranted invasion of personal privacy, but said it intended to consult the Attorney General, Attorney General's office for further advice. Meanwhile, the bar appeals, uh, appeal rather, has continued for Tuesday. In the newsroom, I'm Jared Pleiter, Eyewitness News.